and oh, welcome hi. to Make Think. Hey, um, I'm Alyssa Walker, and I'm here with Stefan Bucher, a very good friend of mine from Los oh, Angeles. <laughs> and this is his new book, The Graphic Eye. Available now. Is it just, just brand new, right? Just brand new, out for about two weeks. Why did the British version have to look so different? Um, you know what? They, I started with uh, the same round of comps, and they just went totally different directions of what they responded to and what their team saw it would sell in their market. But it's like red. It's, it's bright red, it's the British like version. It's almost like comic, comical, like very kind of funny It's, it's, yeah. it's super bright, it's yeah. super bold type. And we were, I mean, I like them both equally, but um, yeah, they just, they just diverged completely. It's um, perfect for your two personalities that right, you're talking about. Right, so right, exactly. Without even knowing it, yes. you, you kind of talked about how you have this kind of dark side, mm -hmm. a dark, very uh, punishing wit, perhaps, mm -hmm. of, of you. And then you also have this, you can make be these beautifully, like something like this, just uh, put together, kind of beautifully composed, yeah. very uh, maybe uh, accessible yeah. kind of design for people, right? So yeah. um, how, how have you dealt with that in your whole in your whole career right yeah. you do you always go one way or the other way you always go one or the other it tends it tends to be because when you try to make the synthesis of the two then it then it's a little bit half a loaf <laughs> um and is that like I'd, olive loaf at all it is <laughs> you're making me hungry now um i do love a, i do love a good olive loaf but um no well it's it's just a little bit lukewarm then Oh, right. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes it works uh, to have, you know, for example, like one of the monster drawings in a really sort of beautiful modern layout. That kind of works. Mm -hmm. But then it's almost, it really is almost like two people are doing it. Right. Where the illustration is one thing and then it's presented by kind of the designer part of me. Right. So it's the diluted, it's too diluted. So you got to go all the yeah. way with it. Well, I mean, at that, I mean, at that point, then it's a presentation thing. Right. But for an actual sort of a primary project, um, it gets really difficult because then, then just comes off of schizophrenic. And speaking of schizophrenic, yes. you draw monsters. Which yes. <laughs> they're not scary monsters. They're not. They're well behaved. <laughs> they're well behaved. And now they're they're worrying they're, monsters. Now they're worrying. Yeah, they're, they're the little the little yeah. worries. And now they're going to be uh, teachers. The monsters. Yes. And how did they? How did that whole they're evolution? On, they're on the electric company on PBS, um, or cousins of the monsters, I should say. Um, they're, um, they're negative space monsters that live in the space around letters and um, vowel pairs and consonant pairs. And so they're used to teach kids to, to, do, uh, to do phonics. I don't want to say the wrong thing. I'm sure there's a partic very particular <laughs> method attached to it. But basically it's for them to recognize those pairings phonetically so that when they read they know how to pronounce it. So was that an example of one of these dark ideas that came from a dark place that is now is now for children? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, just basically trying to to bring the darkness to the kids. Um, well, then they won't be afraid. Of the exactly. Too. That's you know what? Kids dig darkness. Actually, I think I, I know I did. I was a strange kid, but um, you were German. Yeah, we there's need to bring that, that up again. Yeah, yeah, let's bring that up again. Exactly. Please, let's make sure everybody knows that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, you know, they, the monsters definitely started out as a sort of darker thing, and now there's such a cast of thunders that there are some that are, like the original Upstairs Neighbors were definitely much, much darker, and now the, the Daily Monsters are much more sort of, you know, just go along, get along, neurotic creatures. Right. Um, and so there's... there's Everyday just, monsters. Yeah, yeah, there's just different, there's just sort of different uh, branches on the family tree. So like any family. Yeah, so like any family, yeah. there's like your crazy uncle, and then there's, you know, the grandma who's nice to everybody, and then the kind of friend bunch is teen or something. <laughs> well, I think this book, the title of this book is so appropriate for you, because I think the graphic eye, it's such a great title, but I kind of think of you as like having this very discerning, you're a perfectionist to, to a, in a scary to way. To a fault, yeah. Yeah, uh, but you also <laughs> just have this wonderful eye and a wonderful ear for language, and your, you know, your kind of wittiness and the ability to write copy on all your stuff. So, um, the graphic eye and ear and nose, yes. perhaps. But um. well, the graphic eye actually, I can't take credit for that. Actually, came from Chronicle. 
Well, look at that. Yeah. They are pretty fantastic. Yes, they are. I've heard they have published many good books since then. Yes, they have. <laughs> have they? Why, why is that so? I almost feel like you have a book out yourself. It is possible. Something about a walking tour of some major met metropolis. Uh, we'll have to check that out. We'll that sounds familiar. Out, yeah. That sounds familiar. But in the meantime, you can pick up this book. Buy this book first, <laughs> then buy Alyssa's book. And then book. we'll talk about that. <laughs> Thank and you. then buy Alyssa's book so you can walk through New York and take pictures and for volume two of the graphic this. eye. Yes, good idea. Synergy. We're synergizing <laughs> is what we're doing. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alyssa. Appreciate it. Of course.